practice, building his confidence every day, you know, things like that. Chris, a lot of those lapses kind of came at the end of the first half, that last segment of the first half, and then to open the second. Just where do you think the kind of momentum shifted and where, where some of those lapses came, came from? Um, uh, shoot, they just, I feel like they just hit a lot of tough shots, you know, even when we stayed solid. But we had a couple of times where we broke down defensively, um, didn't make free throws or whatever. But, you know, on foul, you know fouled in um, tough shots, tough positions, and they didn't stay solid. So I don't think that helped us out. This is kind of a position where you guys have rallied from behind, kind of backs against the wall. Uh, I guess, what is that mindset going into a winner go home situation now that you're in the NCAA tournament? Um, we're a tough group, you know, tough minded group. So I don't feel like any team has been through what we've been through all year. I feel like we have no choice but to, you know, power through this, you know, headed to the tournament strong and really showcase, you know, how hard we've worked all year. So that's, that's the goal for, for right now. Why do you think it kind of gets to the backs against the wall mentality before the recovery happens that we've seen so many times this season? Honestly, don't know why. I don't prefer to be that way. Um, I prefer to just, you know, come up with that energy every game. But, you know, the type of group we have, though, when we are knocked down, we're definitely going to come back, you know, come back stronger, you know, next time. So that's what we're looking to do heading into the tournament. How much of a, of a letdown is it your first SEC tournament to kind of have it end before it even really starts? It's a huge letdown, but. You know, just kind of stay positive and just look forward to next week. Team that we played good against the first time. Um, we didn't guard as well as we as well as we did that game, so that played a factor. Is this one of those teams that's kind of like a tough matchup for you guys? Um, I mean, every team in the SEC is tough. It's going to be a good game. Um, it just depends on who fights more. Tourney game in before you go to the tournament. Um, I pretty much knew what to expect. I played them before. Um, they're gonna fight hard throughout the whole game, and there's no time where you can let up. How did you feel out there? Um, I feel like I could have played better than what I did. You know, didn't do enough to win. But the ankles? Uh, it's doing better. Just getting better every day, and you know, first time out, playing the whole game. So. Jason, this team has seemed to bounce back a lot of times after tough losses. How confident are you in this team bouncing back next week? Oh, I know we're going to you know, have a little talk when we get back and everybody get their minds right before the tournament. So I have a lot of faith in us. I'm not going to lose any hope. Was it, uh, I guess, that your knee in that second half where you had to step out for a minute that you like, knocked knees with? Uh, yeah, he had pushed me and I hit my knee. So. You know, just little pains, but I mean, I'm, I'll be all right. I guess bouncing off that, just another physical game. Just what was it like going through a game like this, where a game of runs and again, you know, a lot of you say fighting out there. Uh, it's like another SEC game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, we've been through that before. It's nothing new. So where, where were the breakdowns on defense when they were able to get the ball to the to the rim? Do you think? Um, we just didn't have any rim protection. Uh, person guarding the ball, including myself, uh, turning our hips, let them get downhill. They got to the rim pretty much whenever they wanted. You think that was a difference in the game? <clears throat> Definitely. They killed us in the paint. So, What was it about that middle eight, the last segment of the first half and the first of the four, uh, second half that the struggles continued? What did you say? The last segment of the first half and the first of the second, it's where Vandy beat you guys the last game. What What is it about those two segments that you think struggled tonight? Uh, we just came out with a lack of energy, you know. They came out and went on their run first. But, I mean, I feel like if we would have made our run first, it would have been a different ball game. It's the week, especially the younger guys, the guys who weren't here. I mean, we're not worried about last year. We're worried about this year. And obviously, we're going to instill in their brains that obviously this is the time where everyone wants to win. So we can't come out and lallygag for two to three minutes. We have to play for 40 minutes. We have to play good basketball for 40 minutes, winning basketball. So as long as everybody is in the right mindset, as long as everyone's right physically, we, we have a chance to make a run. I guess, are you concerned that at this point in the year, you guys are still talking about the need for energy in these games and trying to come out and fight? Uh, 
I guess you can say concerned, but I know what this team can do as long as we lock in. So obviously from here on now, if you if you lose, you're you're done. So as long as everyone understands that, we're gonna we're gonna fight and we're gonna continue to fight as long as we can until we lose. This team has seemed to bounce back after losses so many times. Uh, what is that about this? Is this something you guys are rallying together? Or is it just kind of reset? What's what's happening? I mean, nobody likes losing, obviously. So I feel like we take we take that um, to heart. When we lose, uh, we we don't want to lose two in a row. And obviously, here on out, if we lose, we're done. So obviously, we're gonna get back. Like I said before, that we're gonna watch film, get better, make sure everyone's mentally uh, right. Make sure everyone's physically right, so we could be ready for whoever we play in the tournament. I know you don't want to make excuses, but how tough has it been over the course of the season to, you know, one game this guy's out, then another game this guy's out. Just the whole lineup hasn't been there, and it's a different player. It seems like every every time. It's part of basketball. It's not just us. Every team's have people who are who are battling injuries, who are out. It's not just us. So that that's that's an excuse that could go out the window. Right now, we're we're at a point in our in our season where if you're gonna play, you're gonna play. If you want to win, you're gonna win. If you're like if you want to win, you're you're gonna fight. So at the end of the day, like there's gonna be everyone's going through pain. So you're either gonna fight through it or or you're gonna sit down. So um, props to Kaysen. He's still hurting and he he chose to play. So props to him. But obviously, we got to get healthy so we could have a full team come tournament time. That Vanderbilt run to end the first half. How do you feel like you all discussed that at halftime, and and how were you sort of struggling to respond to start the second half? I guess. Uh, I mean, the whole game defensively, we were we were terrible. Uh, they were getting whatever they wanted, and uh, we came in the second. I mean, we came in at halftime, and we discussed what we needed to do, and we tried our best to do it. But obviously, we didn't do it. Um, to to the best of our ability, so uh, we, we just got to be better. What is uh, what, your ailment right now? My what? Your ailment. What is injury. that? I don't have an injury. Cal said before the game that you were dealing with something. You good? You know, we have it, it's winter to go home now, uh, so it's going to be like like you said, some good rest and correct these things and, you know, get ready for a run. Have you ever been a part of a team that has been as up and down momentum-wise as this team has been this season? I mean, yeah. Um, you know, every every team I've been on has went on big winning streaks and lose two in a row and then win five in a row. Um, you know, that's basketball. Um, but this team, I don't know if I've quite been on a team where we handled or battled through this kind of adversity um, in one season. Um, so I think that's definitely going to help us moving forward. How much were you hurting uh, both at the end of that Arkansas game and then the next morning? Um, the Arkansas game was really tough because we were playing bandy and they do a bunch of screening. And towards the end of the game, I got hit on the screen. And it really set me back um, soreness-wise. And uh, we only had about 48 hours before Arkansas. So. Um, you know, coach just said, hey, can you go out there and just give me five, five, six minutes? I said, yeah, we can do whatever you, I'll do whatever I can. So that's kind of where I'm at. Cal made it sound like at the end of the, the game down there in Arkansas, you like couldn't breathe at the end, basically, when you, when you came out the second half. Yeah, um, when the game's up and down, up and down, it's really hard to control my breathing. Um, when I got to breathe heavy in and out, it, it causes me some, some decent amount of pain. So, um, like I keep saying, it's just something I, I got to deal with. How big was it to get Kaysen back? Obviously not the result you wanted tonight, but getting him back is huge, and you're going to need him big next week. Yeah, it's, it was really huge. Um, you know, he just got back. So, you know, getting his legs back, um, running up and down again, um, it was good to get one under for him. I, I bet he would say the same thing. Um, but love, love having him back. I know you've already probably answered this, but how tough is it keeping Vandy out of the lane when the guards drive and and they shot, I think, 64% the first half when they got into the paint? It's tough because uh, they shoot it so well, and you know they want to get up a lot of threes, so you're, you're really uh, cognizant on stopping them uh, behind the arc, and then they have elite speed getting down the lane and then when they get in the lane uh, they got really good finishers and then on both sides they have some kind of action whether it's a hammer or a split action so it it's tough but um, you know if we had a good game plan coming in um, we just didn't we didn't execute it
the first SEC tournament game, how does it, you know, set the tone? Obviously, not the result you guys wanted, but to, to let some of these guys at their first experience know there's no margin for error now. Um, you know, like you said, this wasn't this wasn't the result we wanted. Um, but like I keep saying, now it's it's win or go home. Um, and you know, everything moving forward is details, and everything matters. You know. A turnover can lose you a game. A missed free throw can lose you a game. And you go home. So at this point, it, it's it's locking in in practice, making sure we are committed to the details and executing our defensive schemes and really being locked into that because it could be the difference in the moving on or going home. You mentioned a second ago all the adversity you guys have overcome. How would you describe where you guys are at as a team right now? You know, it's been so up and down lately. Yeah, I mean, right now this sucks. Um, we wanted to come out and perform better than this um, and compete for a championship this weekend. Um, but you know, we still got some basketball left, so we gotta we gotta fight through that. Um, but yeah, this team's been through a bunch of adversity, um, and I think that's going to be an emphasis on going into the tournament. Everything we've been through, and uh, believing in each other, and you know, get back to that brand of basketball when our backs are against the wall and we respond. Um, so you know, probably people are down on us right now, and you know, that's when our backs are against the wall and we come together and play our best. How do you explain playing as well as you did at Arkansas I and mean, then you throw in a corner like this? It's been kind of like that all year. How do you explain it? Yeah. Um, you know, first of all, credit to Bandy. Um, they played a great game and hit timely shots, and we knew we knew that coming in a team that was fighting to get in the tournament, and they, we knew we were going to get we knew we were going to get their best tonight, and we had a good game plan coming in, um, and you know we didn't execute it to the best that we thought we could have tonight, and that's frustrating. How demoralizing is it when you, do, when you do finally shut them down, clog up the lane a little bit, then they hit these shot clock beating threes and 25-footers that was like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think a lot of that has to do with they kind of were feeling it late towards the end of the first half, and they were making jumpers, and, you know, coach calls it, you know, then they got beer muscles. So now, you know, the rim is huge to them, and they were hitting shots, and they're feeling good, so. You know, those shots go in when you're feeling good and you feel comfortable. I guess, what did you all try to do in the second half? What was the message in the locker room after they closed the half out strong and uh, you guys tried to respond? Just fight, compete on the de defensive end more and keep their guards out of the lane um, and contest threes. After the Arkansas game, Calipari said that, you know, you were one of the, the player that he felt made the biggest impact by just playing hurt. You're out here again today, you know, probably taking some hits you didn't want to take. Not that it's what you expected coming in, but do you feel like that really defines your legacy at Kentucky as someone who fights through adversity in that way? I think that just def like defines our whole team and you know what we've been through this season. Um, you know, as many years as I've been playing basketball, um, especially now as a kid, you, you dream of playing in the NCAA tournament. Um, and if I can go out there and, and not hurt myself more and have a chance to play in an NCAA tournament and an SEC tournament, I'm absolutely going to do that and do whatever I can. You know, that's, it's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. What is it about that? Was it what is it about that last segment, the first half and the first and the second? It's kind of a kind of reoccurring issue with this team, momentum-wise. Uh, I think we go through a couple minute lapses where we just break down. Um, and you saw tonight a team like this, when you break down, they make you pay. Um, and we just dug ourselves in too deep of a hole. And in the second half, they came out and just <clears throat> did the same thing. You know, we had some breakdowns. They just wanted it more. Um, and we got to correct that. Would it be in March? A lot of you guys were hoping this was the time you wouldn't see some of those same mistakes that you've seen throughout the year. I mean, is there a concern right now? Or are you just kind of tap it up to just a rough day at the office? No, I mean. We need to correct some things, obviously, and go into the NCAA tournament um, <coughs> as sharp as we can. But um, you know, as I've had some time to think about, as the games died down, you know, I've kind of realized, um, you know, when we have tough losses and we have kind of these losses, we always respond in a big way. So I'm hoping and I'm really confident that you know this group's going to come together and have one of those. You know, responses like we've been having all season. Why do you think you have been able to respond in that way, and why does it kind of you have to get those to those points to to have those responses? You, think? Um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with this group is just so connected. Um, you know, we're going to rally on each other, and we're going to come back and just go to work. Um, and you know, we're at our best when 
you know, everyone's counting us out and our backs are against the wall and we just hungry and we want to play. Um, so that's the kind of the mindset we got to have going in. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.